Welcome to Living Fuel TV. This is Casey Krejci. We all know we need to be getting more omega-3. So any omega-3 is fine. Well, it's fine, but you need to understand something about omega-3. Plant-based omega-3, which is called ALA, alpha linoleic acid, is not going to get you where you need to go by itself. There's a lot of people out there that try to tell you all you need to do is eat chia seeds or eat flax seeds or flax oil or something like that. But the truth is, there's a process that goes through the delta-6 desaturase enzyme process to convert ALA, hopefully to EPA and DHA, but your body is only going to convert, say, around 10% or less to DHA, which is docosahexaenoic acid, which a large part of your brain is made of, and there's a lot of reasons you're going to want to have docosahexaenoic acid. So the human body is not good at taking that ALA and converting it to EPA or DHA. So you really want to eat the things that are good factories for accomplishing such. So a fish will eat plankton and other omega-3, plant omega-3 sources, and then they will convert that at very high amounts. So when you eat fatty fish, salmon, mackerel, tuna, herring, sardines, these kind of fish, and anchovies and, and, and such, these kind of fish are, are, have the, the fatty acids in them that will give you what you need in terms of EPA and DHA, which is the goal of the fish, of the fish oil. So when you're eating these fish, there is a problem that you need to pay attention to, is that when you eat farm-raised varieties of fish, you are not getting very much omega-3. You're just not getting it because farm-raised fi raised fish are not fed the diets of, of wild fish and they do not produce enough EPA and DHA as a result. There's another, a lot of reasons not to eat farm-raised fish, but this is the one we're talking about today, omega-3. So if you're going to get your omega-3s from fish, sardines are great, anchovies are great, wild salmon and tuna and so on are great as long as you are doing the wild variety. So when you're getting your oils, the same thing applies. The, the fish oils obviously would be from the earlier in the food chain, the better would be the sardines and the anchovies and so on. So choose your fish oils if you can that way. There's really good processes now to purify oils called flash molecular distillation. So salmon oils can be good as well. But the main thing though, when you're picking your fish oils, is that you got to make sure they have significant amounts of antioxidants in the oils themselves. Avoid taking liquid fish fish oils. If you're opening a, a bottle and pouring oil into uh, something that you're going to eat or into a spoon and eating it directly, this oil, unless it is full of antioxidants, is going to spoil. Now, I don't care if you put it in your refrigerator or your freezer. Once you open it, oxygen is going to start taking it down and it, is, it has become less than healthy. So you really want to be in the gel caps and the gel caps is another potential concern that you want to think about. Gel caps are from bovine or from pigs. So when you take these, these cartilage or these, this uh, gelatin from these animals, you potentially can have diseases associated with those animals as well. For instance, mad cow disease and so on. You want to avoid those things. If you cannot get buffalo gel caps, then I would suggest you continue with whatever you got because the risk is very low, but it's better to be sealed in a gel cap that is buffalo uh, or water buffalo. And so when you have it sealed in gel caps, now you've protected it uh, in the gel cap, particularly if it has antioxidants in it. And then once you put it in the body, you want to also make sure that it has oxid antioxidants enough to keep your cholesterol from oxidizing and to, and to keep the oil itself from oxidizing when it's in your body. The best way to accomplish this, full spectrum vitamin E included in the product itself, that would be alpha, beta, gamma, delta, tocotrienol, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, tocopherol. You also would want vitamin A and astaxanthin is a terrific addition as well. So hopefully this was helpful to you. God bless you and have a great day.